There's a couple things that come into play. One is that difference between hardwoods and softwoods. Hardwoods, they're going to take that board and, and remanufacture it into smaller pieces for furniture and cabinets, etc. Whereas softwoods, the, the lumber that gets produced at the sawmill is going to be used, generally speaking, in its uh, full size. Um, the other thing that comes into play is that lumber is sawn originally when the wood is still wet. And during processing, uh, it will dry and shrink. And uh, very often after that drying and shrinkage, at some point it's going to be planed to give it a uniform thickness and a smooth surface like we see in this uh, 2x4. So 2x4 in this case for this softwood piece of structural lumber uh, refers to the original dimension or the nominal dimension where at the sawmill it would have been cut originally probably more or less four inches wide and two inches thick. But due to the shrinkage and then the subsequent shrinkage during drying and the subsequent planing, the finished dimensions or the actual dimensions of a two by four are going to be one and a half inches by three and a half inches. Um, that's the reason. Uh, it's not a, a scam to try and call something bigger than it is. It has to do with the fact that there's the original rough nominal dimensions rough green nominal, and then the finished dried plain dimension. So uh, two by fours and two by sixes, are, you commonly hear that with softwood structural lumber. That's the original nominal dimension, even though the finished dimensions are less. And then in hardwood lumber, they will often refer to the original green rough dimensions expressed in quarters of an inch. So a four quarter board would be one inch thick rough green. And so if you're using that lumber and then you're gonna make furniture, the finished dimensions after it's dried and planed will probably be on the order of three quarters of an inch.